had a tough week last week. Yeah. Have you seen anything in the two days of practices from her that's encouraging? I think so, for sure. I mean, you know, the transition is hard, and it hits different freshmen different ways. And right now is usually a tough time because their season is so much longer in college than it is in high school. So you see some freshmen struggle around right now. And, uh, I think that the way that we've run our practices the last couple of days, the things that Coach is having them do, has really gotten them in the right state of mind. Not only to get better as a team, but to get better individually. And Kristen's taken some steps forward just in her aggressiveness. You know, I think part of her problem has been her passiveness. You know, she almost don't see her on the floor. She doesn't really touch the ball a lot. She doesn't do a lot defensively. She's not rebounding. So. What is she doing? You know, kind of thing. And I think that she's kind of taken that to her own hands the last couple of days and trying to make sure that she impacts the game whether or not she has a ball in her hands. And that's been different for her um, now than definitely in high school. She's scored in high school. So she's trying to have, she's having to figure out what else can I do on the floor to make a positive impact for our team when I don't have a ball. And she's, she's getting it. Would it be more challenging given that she's set the expectations so high, you know, with that Notre Dame game? And, you know, she's yeah. Yeah, she, she it seemed like she can only kind of go down from there, just, you know, in terms of. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you view it that way, and definitely when you have a game like that, the expectation is for you to do that every game, right? Not only from the people around, the fans and the media, but from yourself, from your teammates, from your coaches. So now that she doesn't do that, there's even more added pressure. Um, but it, it, it continues to get harder when people start to do that. Now they're going to play. Now they're not, she's just not somebody on, on the court that they don't have to play. They're focusing before that on Crystal and Lily and Lisa. Kristen has a game like that. It's going to be a little harder for her to do. I'm so sorry. Um, but absolutely, you know, all the players that come here that are number one player in the country or one of the best players in the country, the sign that, you know, it's not that you don't come to UConn and sprinkle magic fairy dust and all, the, all of a sudden you become an All-American. There's really, really hard work behind it. And they're so good and so talented, they've never had to work that hard. I'm not saying they don't work hard, but they're having to really push themselves. And Kristen's learning that now. Even, you know, defensively, uh, Tennessee was pretty animated when you just took her out the other day. Is that just, you know, what messages are you trying to get across for her? Well, uh, in that particular game and in general, she needs to play harder. Um, and we know... She knows that in some games it's not going to be as apparent, it's not going to matter as much because we're winning. But when it gets down to like the Baylor game, when we get when we get into March, when we get into our conference tournament, games that are going to win us championships and, and put us in position to win us championships, she if she doesn't learn how to play hard right now, it's going to be too late. So that's that's kind of the message that is being sent right now. How's Olivia doing? She's getting, I mean, she's definitely getting better. Um, she, Olivia is having to learn how to practice harder. Um, and one of the things that Coach Arima has always done since the dawn of time, which is when I was playing here, is if you don't practice hard and you don't practice well, you're not going to play. So, you know, there's, there's a fine line there where, you know, Olivia's doing better in practice, but if she's not practicing hard, what kind of game time is she going to get? What, if she doesn't get a lot of game time, how much better is she going to get? You see, there's there's a, a give and a take. So I think Coach has done a really good job with her, making sure she understands how hard she practices is directly related to how much she's going to play. Uh, knowing that our team uh, would benefit greatly if she would play a lot and get better food. So. Do you have kind of the same frustrations that he has with the bench? Just you see flashes of certain players, but collectively they have no way to get them all together. For sure. I mean, I'm sure everybody else has frustrations with our bench. And, you know, obviously, we are, we don't want to just play five players. And, you know, obviously, we understand that there are things that can happen, knock on wood, where you maybe have a kid that sprains an ankle or gets sick. Who are you going to put in that's going to be at the same level? We try to prepare for that every day. We know that. We're here every day. But, you know, we've had uh, an issue with that this year. So hopefully we're making strides in that area where we get through the next couple of months and there's a clear defined couple of players, two or three players that we can bring off the bench that will help us um, and help us get better out on the court. And it's not like put them in and you're going, I hope. You know, we want to make sure that through our practices, through the games that we have the next couple of months in preparation for the tournament, 
for both tournaments that we have a, a clear understanding of our staff and our team of who those players are and what they're going to provide when they get in the game. I mean, in terms of Olivia, do you sense that she is, because I know one of her biggest challenges was the physicality and yeah. just understanding that aspect. Do you feel like that same thing? Like, she's kind of adapting to that better? Than... No, I mean, not yet. I think physically for Olivia, it's going to take longer than March, you know, but mentally she could adapt quickly and quicker than she has been. She needs to get stronger. She's just, you know, she's tall and thin. Um, and she doesn't have a whole lot of muscle to her. But if she gets a little meaner between now and March, then, then you know, we can kind of cover up some of that strength that she doesn't have yet. She's going to get there, um, but that's going to take longer than the changing happens.